so hello everyone today we have rukshanda with us so as we all know that adobe wit scholarship is open so firstly thank you so much for coming to my channel and you know helping so many people who are going to apply this year so the deadline for this year 2022 is uh, 11th of december kindly note this is generally like bahut kam time hai is baar so jo bhi log ye video dekh rahe hai please start your application proce procedure letter of recommendation hota hai just try contacting your uh, teachers and everything okay so before that rukshanda can you give us a brief introduction about yourself so that you know jo bhi log dekh rahe hai they can connect with you better acha so uh, currently i am मतलब मैं एक इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट हूँ जाजपुर यूनिवर्सिटी पे एंड दिस इज माय मेरा फाइनल ईयर सो लाइक आई एम ऐसे तो मैं लाइक इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग मेजर हूँ बट माय रिसर्च टू मेन इज मोर इनटू कंप्यूटर विजन व्हिच इज लाइक मोर इनटू प्योर कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड लेस इन टू दर इंजीनियरिंग इन इट्स एंड आई हैिन एक्सप्लोरिंग दिस फ्रॉम सेकेंड ईयर ऑफ माई total college education and uh, it's by final year and currently i'm preparing for my masters and phd okay that is great so talking about the adobe wit scholarship so thoda sa eligibility criteria ke bare mein can you tell us kyunki aapne bataya that you are from electrical background so what is the eligibility criteria and are there any college restrictions if you can tell us about that uh if i'm not wrong uh, there is no college restriction because uh, मैंने नहीं देखा है कि मेरे यूनिवर्सिटी से पहले किसी को मिला था तो लाइक इट्स नॉट लाइक दे वुड रियली सी दैट विच कॉलेज यू आर फ्रॉम एट द एंड ऑफ द डे काफ़ी हो जाता है कि तुम्हारा प्रोफाइल कैसा है उसके ऊपर सर्टनली दे वुड लाइक सी की प्रोफाइल एक सर्टन क्या बोलते हैं उसको एक्सटेंट के ऊपर हो एंड सो द एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया इज इट इज फॉर थर्ड ईयर फीमेल स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ सर्किट प्राइजेस सॉकेट ब्रांचेज ओके सो दिस इज द ग्रेट थिंग कि कोई कॉलेज रिस्ट्रिक्शन नहीं है एंड आई थिंक कोई सी जी पी ए वगैरह का भी रिस्ट्रिक्शन नहीं है लाइक like, जो भी आपका सी जी पी ए ऑब्वियसली अगर आपका हायर सी जी पी ए है तो काफ़ी आई थिंक बेनिफिट मिलता है बट देर आर नो रिस्ट्रिक्शन एज सच राइट मतलब सी अभी उन लोग रेस्ट्रिक्ट नहीं करेंगे ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ अर सी जी पी ए और एनी थिंग एनी बडी कैन अप्लाई विद नो एक्टिव बैकलॉग्स बट मेरा द थिंग इज दैट your cgpa needs to be a bit higher okay because competition i think itna zyada hai so you have to like be on the upper edge to you know up, like to set apart from the rest of the students that are applying right okay so now let's go to the application procedure so the first thing is lor that is letter of recommendation which i think plays very important role pure procedure mein theek hai तो देर आर फ्यू क्वेश्चन जो कि काफी लोग पूछते हैं रिगार्डिंग एल ओ आर सो पहला तो क्वेश्चन ये है कि लाइक हुम कैन बी गो फॉर एन एल ओ आर बिकॉज एक कॉलेज में देर आर सो मेनी स्टूडेंट्स सो हाउ टू डिसाइड दैट विच टीचर और विच प्रोफेसर वी हैव टू चूज फॉर एल ओ आर सो इफ यू आर एक्चुअली प्रिपिंग फॉर एन इंटर्नशिप एट द स्केल देन आई एम प्रिटी श्योर दैट इतने दिनों तक यू आर वर्किंग अंडर सम प्रोफेसर आउट है तो द फर्स्ट प्रेफरेंस वुड बी हु एवर द प्रोफेसर जिसके अंडर तुम रिसर्च कर रहे हो यू गो एंड यू अप्रोच दैम एंड आस दैम इफ दे कैन प्रोवाइड यू यू एन एल ओ आर बिकॉज दैट्स वट आई डेड अदर देन दैट समाइम्स ऐसा हो सकता है कि यू आर वर्किंग अंडर अ सिंगल प्रोफेसर एंड यू नीड टू एल ओ आर लेट्स ए फॉर द एप्लीकेशन सो उस टाइम में यू कैन गो टू सम वन फमिलियर इन योर ओन डिपार्टमेंट सम प्रोफेसर जिस जिन्होंने तुम्हारा बहुत ज़्यादा क्लासेस लिया है बस समथिंग सो मे बी दे कैन गिव यू अ पॉजिटिव फीडबैक बट देन अगेन दिस इज नॉट एन एल ओ आर यू वुड प्रेफर बिकॉज दिस इज नॉट रिफ्लेक्टिंग योर वर्क दिस इज रिफ्लेक्टिंग ओवरऑल यू सो ऑलवेज प्रेफर टू गेट द एल ओ आर फ्रॉम फ्रॉम सम प्रोफेसर दैट यू हैव बिन वर्किंग अंडर द लॉन्गर द ड्यूरेशन द बेटर राइट करेक्ट मतलब बेसिकली द प्रोफेसर शुड नो यू पर्सनली ऐसा नहीं है लाइक दे आर टोटली अन अवेयर अबाउट यू एंड योर वर्क करेक्ट ऑल्सो इज इट नेसेसरी दैट द प्रोफेसर शुड बी सम एच ओ डी और इन सम हायर पोजिशन इन कॉलेज लाइक उससे फर्क पड़ता है क्या हमारे एप्लीकेशन में नहीं नहीं उससे कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता राइट बिकॉज आई थिंक दिस इज वन ऑफ द मिसकनसेप्शन दैट अ लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स हैव सो like as rukshanda mentioned that the post of the professor does not uh, like play a very important role right right also uh, i see there are like 
एल ओ आर में वॉट टू मैंशन बिकॉज हर एस ए में देर इज देर इज वर्ड लिमिट राइट सो आई थिंक इन द एल ओ आर वी शुड मैंशन थिंग्स दैट वी आर नॉट मैंशनिंग इन द एस ए सो समाइम्स टीचर आस्क इफ देर आर सर्टन थिंग्स दैट वी वॉन्ट देम टू मैंशन सो इफ यू हैव टू लाइक जिस्ट आउट सम पॉइंट दैट शुड बी मैंशन इन द एल ओ आर सो वॉट वुड दे actually in my case uh, mere professor kafi professional the so i never got to see my lor because uh, generally if you are going for higher studies as well as something that's the tendency that you have to waive your rights of the lor you don't get to see what the professors are writing about you because that's the genuine feedback so i personally wouldn't know as to what they actually put into the lor which makes it so different or anything but इतना कह सकते हैं कि मे बी दे इफ यू हैव एनी पब्लिकेशन मे बी दे मैंशन दो पब्लिकेशन मे बी दे एलेबरेट एक या दो वर्क्स के ऊपर ज्यादा सो लाइक मे बी दैट हेल्प दिकेशन टू बी स्ट्रॉगर इफ यू हैव अ पब्लिकेशन अंडर दैट प्रोफेसर दैट मेक्स यर एलो आर रियली स्ट्रॉन्ग really strong right because it is adobe research uh, scholarship right and like the profile also jo bhi aapko milta hai it is a research profile so if you have a publication as you mentioned to fir definitely aapka jo application procedure application hoga would be stronger than others correct okay one second okay now coming to the most important thing that are the essays so there are so there are five questions let's go to each and every question one by one and her question may you can tell not maybe the exact thing that a person needs to write but the key points that one should remember while they are writing the that particular answer so the first question is state your future goals the technology challenges that you are passionate about and the pers- and the personal motivations to pursue this field so while writing this answer what should a person keep in mind the first thing jo kisi ko bhi sochna chahiye wo hoga ki how much are you being true to yourself there are certain problems that you want to take a look into there are certain problems you probably want to solve in your lifetime so write about those it can vary a lot from person to person it can get very specific as to i want to deal with this 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 to a broad general sense ki these are the things that i want to deal with for me it was more like bridging the gap between like artificial intelligence uh, and like uh, its industry applications like making it uh, more uh, industry available than having it just in the academia so that was a uh, my key point but then the key point would vary from person to person right i think it is very important to make it uh, personal as you mentioned like make yeah. like write your own story in each and every essay right then the uh, next question is describe an event that has impacted your life either in a negative or a positive way if the same event were to occur what would you do differently and why and like the word limit in every question is 200 words yeah <coughs> so for this question uh, i wrote about the accident of my mother which happened when she was with me and my dad was out of station so you as you might have imagined that's pretty daunting for a class 11 or 12 kid so yeah and she fainted it so like that was a bit scary and like then there were circumstances involved so like i i chose to speak about this aspect because i think it helped me grow up better like actually deal with scenarios where there is some sort of crisis so at the end of the fact that these four questions are personalized question the more personal and original your answer is the greater your chances to get selected correct correct like a lot of time people say that there is no such event in their life to write about but i think every person like goes through something it is not necessary it is not necessary that it should be something really big like even some small events which you went through you can write about those as well okay it can be Now, anything it can be yeah. like something like kabhi school mein kuch hua tha anything it could be anything correct correct Now the next thing is why do you think you are deserving of the Adobe Wit scholarship what unique qualities do you bring to the table and okay one second okay i'll do it once again so now the next thing is why do you think you are deserving of the Adobe Wit scholarship what unique qualities do you bring to the Adobe Wit scholarship program and what do you expect in return of the program 
the first thing would be that this is a difficult question to write because like uh, even i was like sitting blank kya likhu isme so it would be generic so what uh, mera approach was ki i spoke about my skills technical non technical both of them i spoke about both of the skills i did not say that i am a very hard working person and stuff like that i actually did not write that i just wrote that even if i don't know something i am a fast learner i'll learn it and i'll do it i think that's what clicked correct like don't write i am very hard working punctual then like lot of uh, words that like they would be in 90% of the essays try to make like like try to make it different from the thousands of applications that are there yeah just like make and, it stand out a little more right and uh, like this part like what do you expect in return of the adobe wit scholarship so there are certain things like networking and like obviously like you get to go to the grace hopper scholarship for free so apart from that like what can a person think about in this particular question i think it's the experience because uh, essentially if you get the wit scholarship it is a chance for you to get into a forum where you can display your abilities and learn from the higher ups so it's more of an opportunity of learning learning from the higher ups learning from the biggest uh, and the most capable people in the fields and like being able to apply them yourself i think that's the biggest take away of this scholarship program correct correct okay and now the next and the last question was who is a role model that you look up to describe this person and why do you consider this person as a role model so when i was applying for the scholarship so like this was the most interesting question and i wrote a really interesting answer so i would love to know about your point of views on this question first so i think my response to this question was very childish and generic i would say because uh, ये होता है ना सबका अगर लाइक कोई ना कोई चाइल्डहुड ड्रीम होता है सो लाइक आई हैड दिस ड्रीम ऑफ बीइंग अ कॉस्मोलॉजिस्ट एंड लाइक नाउ बाय नाउ यू हैव ऑलरेडी गेस्ड हु इट कुड बी इट वाज प्रोफेसर स्टीफन हॉकिंग एंड हिज एंटायर लाइफ इज लाइक सो इंस्पायरिंग टू मी सो लाइक दैट्स व्हाट आई रोट सो दैट आई डोंट थिंक द रिस्पांस वाज वेरी डिफरेंट और समथिंग करेक्ट सो लाइक इट कैन वेरी फ्रॉम लाइक कुछ भी हो सकता है लाइक टू द पीपल हु आर वाचिंग इट लाइक जरूरी नहीं है कि योर रोल मॉडल शुड बी समवन हु इज वेल नोन फॉर एग्जांपल फॉर रुक्षंदा इट वाज स्टीफन हॉकिंस आई रोट अबाउट माय मॉम फॉर सम रीजन आई वाज लाइक माय मॉम इज समवन आई लुक अप टू मे बी लाइक शी डज राइट सो मे बी शी इज नॉट समवन हु डज सम लाइक वर्क फॉर अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल बट आई थिंक शी इज माय रोल मॉडल सो लाइक be unique think out of the box think like crazy i think so do not restrict yourself while writing these answers just be yourself right and describe this person i think whoever is your role model you can just describe that person and why that person is your role model correct uh now the last part is an optional video so i see a lot of students submit that video and a lot of students are not submitting that video so what did you do did you submit and is it really important actually i did not submit the videos first thing would be i don't like going on camera and like i don't like being recorded so that was uh, one of the reasons why i was like no i'm not submitting a video i don't think it impacts your application in any manner right so i think rukshanda you're doing both the things right now you are on camera and you are recorded so really thank thank you to you and really you know i appreciate your efforts yeah yeah right okay so also to the people who are watching it like there are a lot of myths that uh, people who do not submit uh, video do not get selected i think this is a complete myth it is not like that if you are comfortable and you want to you know express yourself you can definitely put up a video and there are a lot of videos on youtube that you can see like people you have to put a i think public link on youtube so there are a lot of videos on youtube that you can refer to if you are confused as, as to how to record right <coughs> sorry yeah no problem so i think resume is also one thing right that we have to submit yes i think if anything impacts your application more than anything else is your resume 
your right. resume tells everything that you are giving to the company that you are capable of giving to the company so make sure that your resume actually captures everything you have done till, till date the internships you have done like make a separate column for it make a column for the internships have you done what have you done and like elaborate on them just don't just write vaguely i was a jb nsts scholar i did this i did that what did you do there like maybe write three or four lines i did this if there is any work which is ongoing and it is to be submitted somewhere please mention that because like what there is a thing that sometimes because the competition is so high there is a possibility that they might want to look into some uh, top level conferences or journals in your resume since it is very research oriented so even if you are not submitting which was my case like not submitting as in you did not have a submission then it was an ongoing work but you know it was supposed to be submitted there and it would be submitted there then you can just be very true and very frank and just write we are planning to submit it here that's it they will assess the level of your work when you explain it to them also one more thing if you have publications make a separate column for them don't just give the headings and dois for your publication because people may or might not go through it so for some people there might not be dois at all because they are under review or something so you give the publication name you describe it in two or three lines as to what has been done in the paper what's the novel aspect of the paper and then you proceed i think these two are very important sections of the resume that one should really look into while framing it correct i think ye bahut choti choti cheeze hain that people generally miss out and then you know their res resume or their application ends up getting rejected so please make sure that uh, like the tips that rukshanda suggested you apply that in your resume you can also write about the work that you have done to uplift them for example if i have to give if you have conducted some mentorship mentorship sessions or you have a youtube channel or you write blogs for the community i think we can include that right rukshanda yeah of course you can include that however uh, uh, the mentorship programs and everything make it a different section because when someone evaluates your resume it's like the technical aspects the non technical aspects anything you do other than technical aspects like mentorship or anything simply goes into the non technical aspects so like highlight more on your technical aspects because let's be clear they are looking for that and that's what you need to deliver okay so okay these were my questions from my side okay rukshanda so coming to the last question and i think a very important one and an interesting one so what are the perks of this scholarship if you can tell us well the scholarship gives you a mentorship program where you closely work with a mentor uh, and learn from them there is a chance that you might get an internship offer depending upon i think there's an additional round of interview depending upon how you do it in the interview you get a chance to intern at adobe and obviously uh, there would be like uh, they would pay your semester fees for the rest of the semester so these are the perks right also you get like i think the fully funded trip to gfc which is i think yeah. really amazing uh like yeah, yeah. last year when i got gfc scholarship and i think you also got so it was online because of corona right like everything was virtual so we kind of missed it so with adobe like if you get adobe with scholarship you also get a fully funded trip to gfc which is a very <coughs> famous conference so last year i got like a gfc scholarship but unfortunately everything was virtual so i could not go go like i did not get a chance to go and attend but yes hopefully people who are applying this year will get a chance to uh, go to gfc and you know be there physically so these were all the questions thank you so much rukshanda for helping us out and you know helping so many students who are going to apply this year thank you so much for coming to my channel no problem at all no problem yes also people who are watching it all the links to apply for the adobe wit scholarship would be there in the description box below and i will put up rukshanda's linkedin as well in the description box in case you guys have any other problems you can connect with her and we'll see you in the next video bye
Bye-bye.